Hi, my name is Shelley Blake Pluck. I'm CEO of Yet Analytics in Baltimore, Maryland. We are the way to help you to see and make decisions about the data of the people in your organization. What we're really interested in is providing people, um, decision makers within a company, uh, with um, an ability to uh, see what traditionally is kind of non-intuitive data about what's going on in the company. If you ask most you know, managers, let alone executives, you know, what are your people actually doing? Like, not just what are they reporting that they're doing, not, not what are you sort of getting a monthly or quarterly report on, but actually what's going on and what facets of company culture uh, can help you to understand your people better and use those people metrics to produce better business outcomes. We've seen interest from CIO's office, uh, definitely, because in the management of information and systems across the organization, they really want to be able to gather the pulse of everything, right, all together. Uh, we're living in a time where the speed of business has rapidly increased and the amount of data produced uh, is exponentially increasing. How do you give a CIO power to uh, understand what's going on in real time with people, with their systems throughout the organization? We started out with uh, some pilots. Uh, we've done pilots with um, HP. Uh, we're currently working on a pilot uh, with uh, an energy company uh, down in Houston. Um, and it's really been interesting um, seeing uh, the, the, the different sorts of applications uh, that um, customers bring uh, with them because they have different problems. And we're at the stage in the company now uh, where we're really identifying sort of those, uh, the, those types of use cases uh, and those types of problems uh, that, that our technology solves really well. We've done work where we've brought in uh, wearable and IoT data. Uh, we've done work where we brought in data from learning management systems and e-learning. Uh, we've done uh, operational and sales data. Um, it really comes up to uh, what are your objectives and how does uh, gathering data uh, about the performance of people in your organization help you meet those objectives? Say we have uh, a sales team and we want to pull, uh, so when they were trained uh, on a new product, um, we, we have that data in, in form of maybe e-mobile learning data. And then we have their Expensify data that shows you know, how they're engaging, how they're using resources. Then we have their Salesforce data where we're looking through the way they manage their pipeline and how long it takes them to close. Um, traditionally, they're all reporting in different ways. What we're able to do is bring them together in one place where you can see the progress in real time. So if I want to know um, who among the new salespeople uh, are really killing it and how are they doing it? Um, where are the outliers? What sorts of things are they doing differently? Uh, what sorts of things are they doing differently, especially that I wouldn't otherwise see, that I wouldn't otherwise notice? Um, they're the non-intuitive things that we can pull together for a company. It might be that um, uh, employees who uh, uh, show up uh, at the company gym and take part in wellness programs uh, maybe that has a certain impact on their performance in sales. Maybe where they go uh, to uh, meet with clients uh, has an impact on their performance in sales. Uh, maybe uh, the kind of content and subscriptions and industry research that they do has a specific sort of... Uh, and the ability to triangulate all of that together, that, that's, that's sort of unique. We've been choosing sort of very strategic uh, paid pilots uh, through the course of the last six months where we not only uh, identify customer needs but can really see if um, see how uh, we can build out new features, uh, new UI uh, to, to help the types of people who use the stuff uh, wherever they're coming from. Um, those pilots have been in different verticals and we've sort of identified which 
you know, the, the two or three to really focus on over the next 18 months. We're interested in providing uh, an accessible platform, right, to allow analysts to do the type of statistical work that they want to do and to allow executives to have real instant visual um, information that they can make decisions. There's sort of two different sets of customers. The people who need to see something so they can make a decision and don't frankly want to get into the whole data science side. And then the people who uh, can provide deeper analysis um, for those people as, as they have increasingly complex problems. Having uh, algorithms which can uh, look at employee performance at both a global level and then right down to a micro level, uh, provide an ability to give employees themselves much more empowerment as to the way that uh, they see their opportunities in an organization and then give management uh, much more power in terms of the ability to see the types of common pathways and uh, identify both talent and threat outliers through the, throughout the organization so you can make faster business decisions.